New York City, New York. Mm -hmm. The boys are coming to the Great White Way on Broadway at the Town Hall Theater, May 9th. Stand-up comedy. Kippy and I co-headline. Then we played a little AYG with the crowd. It's the biggest show we've ever done. We want to sell it out. Come out and see us. Yeah, get your tickets at rugarbage.com where the RU Garbage card game is available right now for sale. It's fi- it's over 50 of our favorite questions from the show. Some you have heard, some you haven't heard. It's a good time. Get it. Play with your friends. Find out who's trash. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or to just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She just got word, accept it. Temple University. There you go. She's taking some classes next semester. She's probably selling weed. Trying out for the basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more of a social move. Sure. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international Shit. businessman, the gummy bear bandit himself. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Harbro, send this kid some money, will you? What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to Ralph. Cooking. Cookin'. Then obviously the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage. You go over there, you get all your bonus content, baby. Uh-huh. It's a goddamn party. And check out areyougarbage.com. Grab some tickets for Town Hall. Town Hall. Here in New York City. Mm-hmm. May 9th. Sounds about right. Yeah, and pick up those Are You Garbage card games that are going around there. Flying off the shelves, Flying those things. Flying off the shelves. Grab them before they're gone, gang. And how about a nice quick shout-out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man, makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. There you go. What up, boys? What hey, up, pal. T-Bone? I'm stoked. Yeah. I love this dude we have <laughs> in the studio. guy. <laughs> Talk about, like, breakout comedian of last year. Yeah. My fa- my new favorite guy. I'm not a fan, but, you know, whatever. That's just me. <laughs> I like when T-Bone's excited. <laughs> it's like the dog running around the house it's and only, stuff like that. It's, it's got only, the zoomies. It's only for Jay and skateboarders he gets excited for. <laughs> It's you and Tony Hawk, so you're in good company. Dude, that's great. Being in the, in the same league as Tony, I love that. <laughs> well, let's not be crazy. <laughs> we have to give him his peanut butter ball and put him in the corner for a little while. Get him his lick pad. <laughs> Gang, the long hair ain't lying. We couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, uh-huh. back with us again today. He's a goddamn fan favorite. Like the long hair said, he is a fucking international sensation, and he's going to be at the Wilbur in Boston January 12th. Uh-huh. Make sure you pick up some ticks for that. It's coming up real quick, and he's going to be at the Vogue Theater in Vancouver, British Columbia on February 24th. Give it up for the one, the only, Che Dorena, everybody. Hey. There he is. There he is, the che kid. dog. How is everyone doing today? Always go, always get me on the Instagram with the videos. Dude, yeah. Something pops up. I'm about to see a butthole, and your head pops up. I the love camera. it. I love it when I get someone caught in that, when they're like, they're they're they're, you're, they're getting involved. They're like, who is this baddie? And then I'm yeah. like, what are you doing? I what know it. I know your face is going to pop up. April 4th in too. Cincinnati. Come see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You've just been chained. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's like when someone texts you when you're doing your business on your phone. Your little text pops down. Yeah, God yeah. damn it, dude. I've had that with you where you've been fighting with me, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? I'm like, oh, just give me 90 seconds. Well, that's like you're like you're like mid-stroke. You're getting it going. An important call comes in. You got to be like, hello, this is Shade <laughs> <laughs> Are the results in? <laughs> <laughs> it's on God, Zoom. They're man. like, hey, you still got the dog collar on. You want to take that off for Dude, us? Dude, I love to, like, man, I, I wish there would be a way where I could still have the Wi-Fi coming through but silence all the calls because right. – I'm, I'm a phone jerker. I don't know if you guys are you like phone jerkers. If you're yeah. jerking off on a computer, you're nuts. Crazy, You're in the dude. CIA or something. Yeah, you a go, desktop? Yeah. Desktop, two screens going. You're like like counting daddy. It's like no. minority report with all this shit. <laughs> Just throwing shit. <laughs> <laughs> buttholes, buttholes. No, I, like, I really like to indulge when I get like multiple tabs open. I got nothing going on. My thing, if I'm really fucking being a slob. You go multi-tabs? Oh, on your phone? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. You're jumping tabs? 
on your phone? Dude, really? I, I don't Jesus. start watching the video. This is like my ritual is I'll open X videos. I'm an X videos guy. That's my go-to <laughs> porn website. You hear I'll, that, folks? <laughs> I'll, I'll start scrolling the main feed. I see a video I like, open a new tab, go back to the main feed. Keep scrolling, scrolling. Your stockpile. I Jesus. stockpile. How long does the stockpile sesh last what for What are you? you, sitting there having a glass of wine? You <laughs> fucking weirdo. Get your business done and get out of there. It's a goddamn bank job. You don't hang around. I jerk off to thumbnails more than anything else. That <laughs> is what it's getting this me going. Nuts. Itchy trigger finger. <laughs> God damn! I I I always I gotta go to the bottom of the page. I, if I don't go to the bottom of the page, I feel like I almost get like I'm missing something. Like I'm like I missed out. There might have been that perfect Man, jerk. You need thing. a hobby, dude. <laughs> Take that. up checkers or something. Do some push-ups or something. Will you? <laughs> you said you were doing the breathing exercises. Oh yeah, I'm big on the Wim Hof breathing. I like to do that. I was telling you guys this before. Before I go on, more stage. of a Marlboro man myself. But whatever, whatever you choose. I'll do the Wim Hof hyperventilation breathing before I go on stage. I've been doing that for a long time because it gets you really focused. Now I started putting a Zin in and then do the Wim Hof at the same time. So I get this like <laughs> nicotine boost and this breathing thing. Man, I'm having man. the sets of my life. I'm killing <laughs> <laughs> This dude's boofing skull. <laughs> I tried that once. I tried to stretch. Like I was like real hungover. And like I remember I stretched my quads out before I went up and I bombed so bad. <laughs> and I was like, never again am I physically prepping for a Zin. Like, no, no, no. You go on rough, and then you—that's the you get warm as you go. And the sure, set gets yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Warm up. Yeah. I did. That. I used to sprint back and forth in the like outside for a little bit. Where? Like run up the block and run back. Just to get uh, my looks like you were mugging yeah. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were forty when you started comedy. Just a forty-year-old man in some other guy's clothes just running down Seventeenth st Street, st sprinting at you. Just women screaming, "Oh my god!" <laughs> They're cowering. My baby, <laughs> shut up, lady. I got, I got an open mic. I gotta get to. I'm up next. They called my yeah, name. Yeah, dude. He's sprinting through, just knocking people over. I got ten. I've got ten this time. Police dog hot him my trail <laughs> that's my biggest fear man a police dog oh getting fuck you. that dude Ooh, yeah i'd be like just not gentle just fucking stab me or something whatever <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah hit me with the tase dude yeah <laughs> don't send the german shepherd after me apparently they're not allowed to shoot you in the leg like to like slow you down they got they got to use like taser or mace something shooting you in the leg is like a, a cruel and unusual punishment or some shit that's like that. also shit in the movies man you fucking you're gonna miss Oh, true. You true. know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah, somebody moving. The legs are tough to hit. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. yeah. I'd be really squirrely with those two fucking <laughs> dancing. Around. Doing the Irish jig, yeah. baby. <laughs> doing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, he's doing the robot. <laughs> Can't get a lock on him. <laughs> doing the worm down the street. You'll never get me, copper. Uh, there's that all time one of the dudes getting tased and. Uh, He's like fighting with his wife or something or somebody, yeah. and he gets tased. And as he's getting tased, he's like, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Point to whoever he's fighting with, then he lays down. I'm like, God damn. Yes. That guy's coming back for vengeance yeah, for just sure. Wait. Just yeah, you you're gonna, you're gonna get yours. <laughs> I love uh, what else is cooking, brother? Oh, what else is cooking right now? Uh, I mean, we I've been having like a I'm pretty keeping it pretty low key right now. I've been trying to cut out the booze, trying to do the dry January. Okay, I'm trying to cut the porn for January too because nice. I, I started getting deep in the porn too much. Just like so six it. tabs only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's on page nine eighty seven. One more page. <laughs> And just folk, I'm trying to focus on getting back in like good, good shape. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I'm starting to because you're an in shape gentleman. I but I used to be guy. like I used to look good, Chisel. dude. I used to look good, so I want to get back to that. Focusing like get, you know, doubling down on stand up. I want to get into some of the bigger clubs in New York this year too. Sure. So I'm like I'm, I'm in a lot of the beat clubs. This guy's but very driven. Yeah. Very game game plan oriented. Calculated in yes. a good way. Yes. Career has always been like the big driver for me. That is like focus on that, put your energy into that, and then all the pieces kind of come around that and everything else works good. So the everything I'm doing this year is very career oriented per usual. Yeah. I want this guy to be my mentor. Jesus <laughs> Christ, my life coach. He's good. Good kid. We kind of yeah. fell into this and then really started drinking. <laughs> 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 I do miss the booze a, a, a bit. Like I like a good booze hang with the boys when you just sure. oh it's you the just best, fucking man. throw a couple. I'm a big UFC guy, Ooh. so like just the fights are on. Like you go, um, there's a fucking meme with Shane Gillis. You know that that uh, it's like oh you're gonna take me to Buffalo Wild Wings to watch all the prelims and all the fights, and it's that Shane Gillis thing where he goes, you trying to make me come, dude? You brought me down here to make me come. <laughs>
<laughs> I love that shit. It's so good. Shout out to the young. What's a bull. cocktail? Yeah. What are you? You're out drinking. What do you? What do you get? Ooh, I'm not a beer. And are you a bar? Are you a dive bar guy? Are you a swanky oh. club guy? What, what? What are you doing? There? Dive all the time. I love a dive where it's like shit all over the walls, weird stickers and shit. Bathroom smells like piss. Sure. That is like that's a go to for me. Uh, and I'm I'll I'll usually like my standard is a tequila soda. That'll I can drink those all night. Um, <laughs> but if I'm out on a date, I, I and there's like a cocktail list that has like. Seven, eight cocktails. I'd be like, let's fucking do the signatures. One, I, I like that. Yeah, and then yeah. we'll just start working through it. I had a, I went to Greece recently. Right, went to Greece, and it, I had the best cocktail I've ever had in my fucking life, mm. dude. This guy made uh, an old fashioned that was like sweet, and they put like an oatmeal cookie in it. And I was like, I drank like five of them. Damn, yeah. must have missed that place. When I was over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and where's a date for you? You're a you know a singleish man, I think, running around town. You By the way, the one night that I saw you it was like a Friday night. You were one of your boys. I'm like, what are you guys doing? You going out? You're like, we're going to the bakery. I'm like, the bakery. The bakery. It's a cool you? bar you don't know about. <laughs> where was you were going to Martha's Bakery to get like cheesecake or oh, something? Oh like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. But Martha's Bakery, I, that's a staple where I got. If boys come to town, it's like, like seeing Superman getting beat up. I was like, ah man. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hear you were going to an orgy or something like that. I did. We did have a buddy in town, and we went pretty hard in the paint. We drank almost every single day, and he's a big movie guy. We go to movies together. So we saw movies, and then we'd dr get drunk, see movies, get drunk. And then one day, we were so hungover that I was like, do you want to go out? He's like, can we just like play Fortnite? And I was like, yeah, let's do <laughs> that. Immediately turn into a nine-year-old? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, going on a date, usually I'll take a girl to like, uh, not a fancy place, but a place that has something good. Like, oh, this spot is really known for like a really good burger and you can sit down and have a drink. So you do like, dinner oh. off rip. You don't, you don't do the, let's get a drink, see how things, Sometimes, see how our personalities match or whatever. Sometimes we'll do that, but I feel like food is a good sales point. And sure. also if you want a, like a girl to be like into you, it's like, you know, I'll, I'll take you. I think girls really like a spot that it's like, it's If not, I want a girl to be into me, I'm not taking her to watch me eat a burger. I'm telling you how much. That's. <laughs> That's not going to seal the deal. She's like, Jesus Christ. I'm eating hers. Yeah. Do you have a Tide pen on you by any chance? <laughs> you going to finish that? In? What's up? I haven't even started, actually. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, I want like a hole in the wall spot that's cool and kind of trendy or something like that. That, I think, is a good place to bring a check. Picking up the check? Yes, always. Okay. Always. I, I don't think I've ever not picked up the check. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Gentlemen. Yeah, yeah no, I, like I think it. that's 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 the move. And any you just like you want to be a, a dude too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. There's a the, a modern man to a certain extent. There's a lot of things I'm modern on, but that is like, yeah, I'm still a fucking dude. Still chivalrous at the end of the day. Exactly. When I was waiting tables, I would see that so much. And it'd be like some dime piece. I'm like, you're gonna fuck this guy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and he's just in, fucking put down three credit cards. What yeah. the fuck is going on? Exactly. That's fucking Yikes. nuts. They're independent women, Hank. I <laughs> they know. also want to pay. Sure. <laughs> or you used, I used to do the dirt bag thing of my wife would when I was broke, my wife would Venmo me money and so I could pay. So I could I could represent I could present like I'm paying. That's Man. so funny. Yeah. That's a keeper right there. Oh, yeah. Ah, she knew I had to keep up appearances. Dude, it's like, yeah, I'm the man of the house. Yeah. And she's like, yes, you are, sweetie. You're the man of the house. <laughs> keep with three bucks in there, too. I want to get some gum. <laughs> I want to get my gummy bears after. I'm not a proud man. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I fuck. was jammed up. The days were, you know, they weren't great back then. This is when you were dating. Oh. I would also maybe married. No, not yo. Dayton's not. worse in the beginning. No, we were date. We if that would happen if we were all going out. There'd be like yeah. if we all went out and everybody's like, all the dudes were like, all right, throwing their credit cards up to yeah, chop yeah. up like a ten person thing or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> She'd ship me maybe like two hundred under the table. Dude, I'd love I got that. it. I got it, babe. Put your card away. I got it. She Dude. leaves it in the men's room for you <laughs> behind the toilet. You want a chick like that. You want of a course. lady who's like on board when it's not good. Yes. Sure. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and she was. Yeah. She also funded this whole thing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's running a puppet government. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we call her the foreign investor. She's the one who, yeah, literally used all her. All her stolen money from somewhere, dude, and it paid off. It paid off. She bet. She bet good. She bet good. But now she's walking around asking for you know points on the back end. <laughs> like, I'm uh, like, hey, touch your your loan was paid back in full. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me this purse? Uh, I don't know, but I think you've if you've seen our agreement is sealed yeah, and done. I'll Venmo you 200 bucks at dinner if you <laughs> yeah. want me to. I will get you whatever you want. Just Venmo me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up. Let's get to some cues, boys. Let's do it, gang. Uh, Please. Please. Thank you. No, yeah, sorry. Get I apologize. Okay. That got weird. <laughs> 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 Gang, as you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, you can have a question read right on the air. Mm -hmm. 
That's my pitch. <laughs> I do, that's the same thing we always say. I <laughs> know. Okay. You're right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're going to do that right now. I swear to God, we'll do it right now. Fucking weatherman over here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So when you sign up for the Patreon, you'll get your garbage question read on the air. <laughs> oh, you didn't do the same thing. <laughs> Uh yeah, so here we go. Let's see. This is Canadian, your Canadian boy. Uh, so this is the Prince of Trash since 1995. Canadian homie here never had one read. Anyone else's family leave the important legal documents in the freezer? What? That's I've heard. I think I've seen that in like mob movies or something. You would see. I've never done that though. No, 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 no. My dad sent me like uh, basically a whole bunch of shit that I became his. I can't remember what it's called, but like if he gets sick, I take over. Executor. Executor, yeah, power of attorney or uh, something gets that, switched over. I yeah. kept that in my sock drawer. That's where that went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They'll never look here. They'll never. And I <laughs> think I lost it too. I think I lost all that paperwork. Dad, you got copies? <laughs> <laughs> so I hope he, nothing happens because <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, I don't think I have any. I have a couple uh, for this. Like there's like a lease I have in like a binder that I think is in my closet. Yeah. That's the best I could do. I got no clue where my birth certificate is. I, I went found looking. mine. Oh, you found it? Not too long ago. I, I think there's pizza sauce on it, but yeah. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Yeah. That just means it's authentic. Yeah. <laughs> this is original pizza <laughs> yeah, sauce. Dude. Yeah, it's him. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need your ID, They do son. a little You're taste good. test. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, two things. I lost. Anytime we had to do that stuff when we were a kid, you know, like if you had to bring your social security card or your birth certificate in like Little League, Lose it. Yeah. Done. My mom would freak out. I've lost my birth certificate like twice. Why did they? I understand. There was all, you needed your birth certificate like once every two years or whatever. It's nuts. Yeah. Who wanted a birth certificate to play Little League? I don't know. That's insane. You know, yeah. Or like whatever. Like what? Yeah, it, that, I remember Don't that. lose it. I swear if you lose it. Well, yeah, lost was it. there a bunch of kids coming in faking their ages? <laughs> like, yo, this kid's 25. Full mustache. <laughs> Hitting chest. dingers. Yeah. <laughs> Danny Tuscadary. I'm nine years old. It's my wife, Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the third grade. <laughs> Dude, see him just shooting up fucking trend in the, yeah. in the bullpen. Ah. We wrap this up. I can make a work in a half an hour. <laughs> that and social security cards. You, you, you thought they were going to be the most important thing ever. And it's like, you know, you never need your social yeah, security card Mine looks anymore. like something from Lord of the Rings. Oh, you used to have to carry it. You used to be like. Dude, it's it like is, a pirate's map. It's, it's all crazy. burnt on the edges. <laughs> you have to hold it up to a light. It, dude, yeah. it's nuts. Throw it in the fire to see what it really says. Yeah. <laughs> The Oracle. One, one fat yeah. kid to rule them all. <laughs> yeah. Holy. Fucking it was trash. Because I had it in my wallet for a long time. For about four years. There was a time was, you had it, yeah. That would no, but for about four years, maybe five years ago, that was my main identification. I didn't have a license. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. I had a, I could drive, but I just didn't have a driver's license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just driving without. So if you got pulled yeah, over and you showed them a Social Security card? That's okay. I wasn't. No, I wasn't driving back then. The only thing that I ever got away with that I, I told you is I I uh, flew from New York to Atlanta with my Social Security card. They let you do that? And no picture ID. Yeah. Holy Who shit. else would be two o two nine nine zero eight four? It's me. Yeah, I couldn't believe they did it. This was yeah. maybe five years ago, and they were probably like, oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah <laughs> this loser. guy's this guy's in bad shape. <laughs> he needs this. He, he needs this. this. Give him the peanuts. Put him in a back row. Gave me two meals and a couple of headphones. <laughs> Sell these with your land. Dude, I would like to see you pull that off with a turban. Let's see if you can. <laughs> no, no not, way. Not a chance. No, not no a chance. <laughs> Kim, let's talk about that man, though. Mm -hmm. about popping up everywhere. Are you a smelly bitch, dude. Woo! Goddamn <laughs> miracle of modern science. Uh -huh. I'll tell you that right now, gang. You can start 2024 off hungover, but at least you can do it without stinking up the joint. K puts, huh? Mando is an all over body deodorant. Big guys, you know what I'm talking about. I don't got to use my lady's speed stick under my grundle sure. put a little mando on there and the secret is mandelic acid mm -hmm. stops body odor before it even starts and do yourself a favor pick some up and quit kicking yeah you can put it any, you can put mando anywhere you put it in your pitch your junk your feet anywhere you stink and did not wash that. don't put it in your mouth it's probably. about time somebody develops something like this because mm -hmm. it ain't just the armpits 
No, it's everywhere on you. Oh, man. I got folds. I got nooks and crannies. <laughs> you should be eating this stuff. Uh, guys, make the switch to Mando if you want to. If you want to smell awesome this new year, I promise you're going to love it. Here you go. Here's the turkey. Mm-hmm. Mando starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes plus free shipping. All you garbage listeners get a discount code to help you get hooked on our favorite smelling whole body deodorant on a market right mm-hmm. there. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That's 40% off your starter pack. Use code garbage at shopmando.com. Shopmando, S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. It's almost a guarantee that once you get a whiff of your new sack, you'll never go back. <laughs> How you doing? That's what I'm talking about. Kip, this is Adam and Eve, baby. Cram it in. Woo! It's a new year. Get some new toys to blast off into 2024 with. Blast off in your butthole. (laughs) Gang, do yourself a favor. You know we love Adam and Eve, and we know you love them, too. Very discreet. Nice thing sent right to the house to spice up the sex life. We're talking dildos, talking butt plugs, and they got a whole section for Fifty Shades of Gray. Mm-hmm. Ever see that movie? No. Ooh, I watched I thought it, with it was my, about your butthole. I watched it with my mom by accident. <laughs> it's about to take a swing at her. <laughs> Caramba. Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over to Adam and Eve. They're one of our absolute favorites. And again, like I said, we know they're one of your favorites, too. Have a little fun. It's 2024. Who knows how long this thing is going to go on? <laughs> yes. Let's get weird, man. Uh, What's the problem? Sure. The brand's been around for for over 50 years, yeah. and this is high-quality shit we're talking here. <laughs> yeah, I ain't asking you to shove a number two pencil up your butt. I'm talking German-engineered. Leave the cucumbers for the salad. Yeah, you can trust them to give you a good time. Don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. Take 50% off one item and free shipping when you and free rush processing. There you go. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. Use the code GARBAGE at checkout. This is an exclusive offer for all you garbage listeners. Be sure to use the code GARBAGE to get your discount. 100% free shipping and rush processing. That's adamandeve.com, promo code GARBAGE. adamandeve.com, code GARBAGE. Do it. Jam it in! But Patty in the 80s and 90s, she doesn't do it anymore because we made her stop. Because I think she lost something when she got a new refrigerator one time. She like oh, left yeah. it in there. But she used to have everything was in there. She Jewelry. Had jewelry. Things that probably weren't even worth anything. They were just sentimental value. She would have them in the freezer, like under the chicken or something like that. That's wild. I've never yeah. heard of this before. It's in my a trashy. Life. It's, Is that like if you break thing. in, no one's going to no check one's the, gonna freezer think to look at the freezer type thing? Oh, I shit. think. Yeah. yeah. I, I still keep stuff in my. I, it's so funny, you like hide stuff, and I'm like, no one will look here, and I'm like, this this is where they would look. It's always yeah. in like a top drawer somewhere. Yeah. And so you put it somewhere you don't forget it. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. also going to be the first place someone comes in and rips open a drawer and is like, oh, there's yeah. an envelope. Well, if it's in the freezer, you got to put a hammer in there so you can smash it, shatter your documents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be real crazy. If you're freezing stuff like your old GI Joes when you were a kid. Yeah. Yikes. I do keep one thing in uh, in my dad's urn. I figured no one's going to look in there. Yeah, You're yeah. putting stuff in the ashes? Yeah. Not yeah. in the ashes. I'm not buried. I'm, <laughs> there. I'm not a cockapoo. What is it? <laughs> that's like... uh, it's, it's my dad's ring. I keep it in there. All right, so that's a little... Uh, uh, that's not yours, though. It is mine. Yeah, but that's also it it's was. I got a fair and square in the inheritance. <laughs> I'm saying you're not putting your extra set of keys in there or something. Dude. You're not, you're not like it's not that's that's part of the tribute keep to my, your father. Keep my weed in there. <laughs> yeah, you're not fucking okay. it's, it's weird. You, you open that thing and it's just a it's a ba- it's literally a fucking plastic bag of ashes. Yeah. You didn't take him out of the bag? <laughs> you gotta un- let him breathe no, a little. You bit. don't you don't <laughs> put it in there? I think so. No. What do you not I'm not sticking my hands in that? My goddamn father. <laughs> <laughs> Be his butthole for all I know. <laughs> Which part of dad is this? <laughs> Which part did they give you? Give him the cock. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the urn moaning. <laughs> I think you're supposed to take it out and just keep it in the urn. No, no. I have no clue, man. It's not dry cleaning. What are you doing? I don't think you should be. I don't know. In a plastic bag? He's, in a, he's not sitting up in a plastic bag on <laughs> your shelf. You got a fat sack of dad? Yeah. <laughs> That's a heavy bag. He eyeballed it. He eyeballed yeah, yeah. it. He didn't have a digi on him. Two keys in my father yeah. right there. <laughs> not stepped on either. Dude, yeah, you put it in with the Coke to chop it up a bit. We're trying to spread this out a lot. <laughs> Dude, uh-huh. You're tasting it. Oh, that's good dad. <laughs> that's pure. Kind of with a pocket knife. <laughs> Make my face go numb. Yeah, no, you don't touch that. You leave it in the bag in the air. And I didn't even think it was going to un- un- unscrew, but it did. 
did. Oh, shit. I was like, ooh. He's trying to sneak out. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck would look in there? No one. Goddamn no one. scumbag. Yeah, <laughs> Plus, yeah. most people would have the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, and I think if you're a thief, you have some level of respect. I, sure. I did talk to a guy <laughs> at a show. rules. Gentleman's <laughs> rules. You don't mess with ashes. <laughs> I talked to a dude at a show who said that he would rob people. He did time in prison for uh, burglary. And he's like, oh, we would steal like TVs, laptop stuff. And he's like, we would steal the remotes. Just to fuck with people, uh, take all that. the remotes. Bastard. <laughs> what, like, leave a TV and steal the remote? Steal the remotes. Oh, I'd fucking freak out. <laughs> yeah, dude. We have two now. <laughs> oh, just in case. I, yeah, because I fucking, I can't find it all the time. Yeah, yeah, so there's so always one. Yeah. yeah, there's always one floating around. But did you notice now, all the remotes, there's no batteries. It's all uh, solar. Solar. Yeah, yeah, Is that yeah, the, yeah. What the fuck? What, do I live in a greenhouse? Exactly. Leave I got to put that thing cell? by the window. Yeah. yeah no, uh, it should, the room light should do it. No, my keeps running out. I got to put it by the window. I <laughs> think you're watching too much TV. <laughs> you pick a channel and let, let, it, let it heal a bit, will you? Keep it in my dad's urn. <laughs> I love the idea of you just setting it like a plant in the window. Yeah, dude. Oh, spraying it with water yeah, and stuff. So it hey, 10 more minutes. We can watch our shows. Uh, Talking to it to give it good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Play a little Mozart. <laughs> uh, and people aren't stealing TVs anymore, though, right? Too they're, big. they're too big and they're not enough money. Yeah, you're not flipping that for nothing. Yeah, dude. like a phone, a laptop. Unless you're like a crackhead, I guess, maybe would. Mm. But like, Oh, dude, when they if you're like a burglar, you're not. When they no. steal the McDonald's uh, TVs. You ever see that? No. Oh, yeah. So, you know, McDonald's, they have like the menu will be like on a TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's all it shows. Yeah. yeah. It's so like programmed in there. They'll yeah. steal one and then they'll fucking sell it to somebody. They'll get it home and hook yeah. it up and fucking. It's, it's only McDonald's. It's just yeah. a value. Yeah. value yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Which dude. I wouldn't mind having one of those just in the house as decoration. Exactly. <laughs> and if it like updates, you're like, oh, new prices. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they got the items. They're still updated. Yeah. <laughs> Shamrock Shakes back. Okay. Back in oh, 20 minutes. Love That's a Shamrock That's how you know shake. you're a fat ass if I have that in there. Like a, like a McDonald's ticker. Yeah. <laughs> Going like old school Wall Street. <laughs> oh, it's back. They're, they fixed the ice cream machine of the one down the street. Let's go. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. This one's from Dr. O. Zempic. Um, ever eat something for money? Eat some. Uh, <laughs> That's a home run of a question because if you have, you're trash. And I, probably a lot of people have. Dude, I think I I must have. I must have eaten something for money. Every crew had a kid when you were a teenager that would, that would do something for five bucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wasn't that kid, but I definitely have, like, we, you know, we make like a shit mix and you just like pour a bunch of shit of into a blender or something. Mm -hmm. I think I've eaten something like that. I can't remember what the fuck it was, though, but it was for sure horrific. Yeah. We had a kid on the lacrosse bus eat a uh, callus. A callus. A callus on the bottom of somebody, off the oh, bottom of somebody's foot. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, he sliced it off and then he Ooh. ate it. Did he gulp it or he chew it? Chewed it. Oh, no yeah. way, oh, dude. So That's cannibalistic. That's yeah. human flesh. I think yeah. he's dead now, to be honest <laughs> <Yeah>. with you. <laughs> For sure. Either that or he's a huge callus. Dude. <laughs> Got oh. an athlete's mouth. We <laughs> always... <laughs> 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 Tongue won't stop bitching. Bro, there was this story out of fucking Newfoundland. It was like fucking... <laughs> what the fuck are you reading? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And here's Che with the Canadian report. <laughs> <laughs> this guy ate two loonies. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, he got dared. He dug up <laughs> bodies, Jesus. took the skulls, and then made soup in the skulls. Yeah, and ate that's that. That's something different. That's, yeah, that's, something. <laughs> that's not eating like a chili pepper or something. <laughs> In his defense, it was a double dog dare. He couldn't yeah, back down. Dude. No, Newfoundland, that's the one chip challenge. That's what that is. <laughs> Cannibalism. Holy shit, man. Get yeah. a booger, will you? <laughs> Holy. In my early 20s, uh, my cousin married a guy who was, on the, uh, who was in the NFL, so we had a lot of cash. Yeah. I was dead broke. So every time we were drinking, I always, I was the idiot that would do anything for yeah, yeah. 20 bucks. It would be like, jump in that lake. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll dude. give you 10 bucks. I'm like, no problem, sir. <laughs> Please. We're at, a, we're at a wedding. Stepping on a rake at a Christmas party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there was a lot of beer, chug, like you can't chug that pitcher in two minutes or like whatever it was. Yeah, man. Man. Fuck I'm you like, don't. you met the wrong guy. Let's go. You don't know how poor I am, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get drunk and cash. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Babe, shit. I don't need a Venmo this time. <laughs> <laughs> I got 20 bucks for eating my own fucking shit. <laughs> that was that Philly thing where the dude ate the uh, horse shit, right? Oh, yeah, that was in Philly. And that was, yeah. a, that was a moment of pride for him. It was after the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Yeah. He ate the, the, the horse shit. I go for Philly every year now to win the Super Bowl because I want to see shit like he that. He sent yeah. me. There yeah. was there's a great video that I had seen right before you sent it to me the other day uh, of that old guy at the Eagles game who gets drunk. Yeah. And then the girl pushes him and he falls and, and he, he can't, can't get up. <laughs> Dude, I've been that guy 
And he Mentally, grabs on the her to try to get up. Yeah. 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 Or you go to pull yourself up and you realize your motor skills aren't there. Yeah. You're like, all right, hold on. I mean, let me recalibrate for he a second. He starts like kicking her because he yeah. can't get up. He's like, well, I'm not done fighting yet. <laughs> yeah. And, Still oh. got some fight left in me. That was- kind of happened to me in, uh, where were we, San Francisco? Remember I was sitting in that chair and it broke? <laughs> And I like I like went down and couldn't have really, to narrow it down a little. I bit. couldn't really get up. It's a real. You guys had you San guys Francisco. came Francisco somewhere. It it was one of those chairs that has like the L. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no there's oh, no, no back legs. It was yeah. Chicago. Yes. And we were getting ready to record a Patreon episode in Chicago, and he sits down and then like this. And we were like, oh hey, we'll help you. Like, I had tightened it up a lot too. <laughs> I was get down like sixty pounds at the time. And the fucking thing's so get the, let me hold on to my pride. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's brutal. Like, dude, you're on the ground. The all pride is out the door. Man. I was kicking them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh. crazy, man. Like, dude, that guy's like sixty. Yeah, dude. What you- the fuck could have happened where you're fucking yelling at some woman? Yeah, dude, next to you, trying to fight her. You, you might have d- had a good reason. I don't know. <laughs> you, dr- you just drink that much, you get into it. You're a new person. You forget who you are, and like, oh, of anything course, and you're mad about whatever happened. If you're drinking that much, you're, you know. You're probably not in a great emotional state. I mean, he was scooching. Yeah, he, he was a- scooching, trying to do <laughs> to oh, get back. I at felt her, so yeah. bad for him. <laughs> Fucking dude, get out of here. Uh, a guy in my family went viral. A guy in my family, he's pushing ninety something, and he got in a fight. Over a parking spot at a Wawa, and it went viral, like on Barstool. He fought like an eighty-year-old or something. Love like. it. And they, there was like four punch, five punches thrown, none landed. They call it the stumble in the jungle or something. <laughs> he like, he like fell off the curb, and then like he tells the story of like, yeah, yeah. He didn't know it went viral. He's like a grandfather. Yeah. And he didn't know it went viral. So we were like, oh, what happened? He's like, yeah, I fucking hit him with a left. I hit him with a right. I uppercut him. And like, you yeah. whiffed three times and broke your hip. Dude, in his mind, it was like the fucking the lights. The people are cheering. Sure. Everyone's yeah, yeah, losing yeah, yeah. it. The Wawa gives them free sandwiches for life. So I go back to making out with this broad. Yeah, it's all it was over. very much that. You know, oh. he had no idea there was f- video footage of it. I but that. I do appreciate a video where an old guy fucks up a young guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. Man, oh, just like great. with a real... Like real solid 60s, 70s technique, just mm-hmm. a whoosh, whoosh, and just connects. Yeah, and he's like, You don't know what I've been through, oh, man. I've seen, I went to never. Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. Never. Saying cool shit like the sweet science never changes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you the one, too. Yeah. Always talking weird shit to yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> man. Uh, that uh, That's all. I, I get a lot of videos, too, of. Uh, a drunk guy or, you know, some street tough guy who comes in and is like, I'm 88 and 88 and 0 in street fights. And he walks into like a, a gym of some sort, either martial arts or boxing, and, and just it gets fucking worse. <laughs> and that guy, the, the, the master or the fucking coach or whatever is always real, like, all right, come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, they then lose it at some point. They're like, yeah. you want to talk shit? Like, <laughs> and they're just fucking, it's like, yeah, get him, dude. Did yeah. you ever see Vice Grip? Vice no. Grip. So there's this uh, fight page called Street Beefs. I think it's in Florida, and it's all backyard fighting in like a ca- literal like fence cage. Oh yes, yes, so, yes, so, yes, yes. So that, the, they're not. It's got to be illegal. Oh, I think it's super illegal, and it's just dudes who have like a little training or something. Sure. And they, some guys fight in like suits. It's very strange. It's wild. Yeah. And there's this guy who went on called Vice Grip, and Vice Grip was like, uh, I'm 67 years old. I've trained my whole life. I've, I've never fought. I want to see what I got. And he fought, and I think he had one win and two losses. But it was very and, like he wasn't like shitty. He was just like, I want to see if I got it. And I was like, Fuck yeah, Vice Grip. Yeah. I like your shit. Sixty-seven years old. You might maybe he wasn't that old, but he was old. old. He was old. Yeah. There's Fighting also some twenty-five-year-old in khakis and no <laughs> shirt. Dude, he beat up one young kid, and knocked him out, and I was like, Let's go, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm on board. That's yeah. as an old guy. I th- if you're justified. That's got to feel so good. Oh, yeah. Going back to the VFW or whatever. Uh, so them. good. Yeah. yeah, drinks for free on that guy. Absolutely. We had a guy do that, but he looked like an asshole. We were at some party uh, in high school, and the mom had just gotten divorced. So she, like, knew that we kind of hung out in there, and, like, you know, she was, like, dating, and, you know, she was younger and all that stuff. So she had, like, a couple of dudes with her, like, a, 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 her guy she was dating, and then another couple. And looking back, they were probably 35, 40 sure. at the time. yeah. But we were like 16 
And these other kids showed up and we were boys with them, but they just weren't allowed to come into the house. And we were like, the mom was like talking to them outside and like everything was cool. And this guy just comes running down the fucking driveway. He's like, yeah. what do you say? Get the fuck out of here. And he grabbed the one kid and just starts wailing him in the face. Jesus. But it didn't do anything. The yeah. guy was fucking 40 years yeah, old. Yeah, like, the kid took the punches yeah, like nothing. He was, was like, all right, dude, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Uh, we had the opposite of that. It was a graduation party. Parents had left too much booze for the kid. You know sure. what I mean? Like, that's when you start drinking. You're 18. Yeah. Everyone's sneaking beers in. We're all down. We're all on the back deck, man. And a fight, a scuffle breaks out between us. Like, yeah. it'd be like if me and Foley got in, like, ah, fuck you, fuck you, and kind of started pushing each other, whatever. Oh, they were both crying? <laughs> <laughs> both lost the fight. No somehow. faces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're pinching each other. And this kid's older, significantly older sister's new husband. It's like, we said no fight. And, dude, he came out and was clearing the deck like WrestleMania. Dude. He was, dudes are getting tossed. He's fucking closed. He, and we were all were like, we all tried to be like, hey, man, like grab him. And then it was just like, He's not like, happening. No, I'm fucking on the loose. It now. was, it was, they it was, love it. It was yeah. like that, that video of that dude in like the, the vest with the tie. Did you ever see that one? I you don't had think to. So. It's famous. It's like the, the meme is like when, uh, when you try to when I try me and my brother try to take my dad's keys after twelve oh, jacking I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. They're this in a huge, ring in like Asia. Irish looking yeah. guy. Oh he's, yeah. He's wearing like a Mumford and Sons vest. <laughs> yeah. 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 And he's beating the shit out of those two dudes. <laughs> yeah. hey, dude. That's what that dude that dude came in with those vibes and just cleared house of like 10, 18 year olds. That's how you want it to go though. You don't want it to go the other way where it's like, yeah, your your sister's husband and he's an older guy and then gets beat up Be by that an age. Oh fuck. You don't live that down. Some kid kicks uh, your ass. I always say it, man. The guys that go to football games like that, like older guys with their kid, and they get into a fight and get beat up in front of the kid. It's like, and so you look sad. at the kid's eyes, and you're like scarred for, for life. It's also probably not the first time that's happened. No, in no, front no, of no. that, and it definitely won't be the last. But you gotta lose a lot of respect and love for the man uh, for sure. Getting beat up in a Barry Sanders jersey. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> it's got stains on yeah. it and shit. Come up, there's muscle. Mustard all over uh, your head. Uh, beer and shit. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're lucky. Are you done? Dad, you're, you're done? Are you done? Are you done kicking my ass in front of my kid? Things would have been different if I didn't have this foam finger. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the kid's just like, ah! no, not my dad, my one hero. I so want to know the story behind that guy in the Mumford and Sons outfit. Dude. Um, that's it looked like waiter fights. Or something. <laughs> yeah. They look they looked like they had just done a, a double shift or it's something in- like that. He was fighting two food runners. <laughs> it's no, they're in the, they're in like boxes. <laughs> they're in fighting gear. And he's it, wearing jeans and he looks like he's he's day bartending somewhere. <laughs> and they're like, does, looks like he's working a brunch shift somewhere, yeah, dude. dude. And he they put it in slow motion mimosas. and he's fucking. He's really whooping uh, him too. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. like throwing him. Well, he's like seven feet tall. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Those other guys are like five three. What a match! That's the matchup you want to see: oh, two little yeah. guys versus one huge guy who can throw a haymaker. Dude, yeah. Why don't they start doing that? Like, I don't know. UFC and stuff like that. That would be well, awesome. Used, that what UFC used to be. There was oh, no was a, weight classes, dude. There's so it was like a four hundred pound guy versus a fucking right a hundred pound guy, but never uh, two on one. No, there was two uh, on one would be all right. There was uh, Dana. Dana. Oh, uh, <laughs> <Get on it. laughs> Call me. He listens. <laughs> yeah, Dana, big supporter. Big supporter. Ah, he's the man. Love him. Well, that's kind of ha- what happened with the with like the YouTube boxers. I'm like, hey, yeah, show me a spectacle. Oh like, yeah, yeah, show me somebody actually getting the shit. Yeah. Oh, something crazy well, on either dude. side. I, yeah, I want to. Yeah. See- I want to see the circus of it all. Like Two he- bobcats versus a guy or yeah. something like that. You see the midgets race a camel. What? No. Yeah, there's this. Oh, it was an old thing called Man versus Beast or something. It was a TV show, and they had like That's eight crazy. midgets Dude. in a relay race a camel. Jesus, <laughs> yeah. shit! Who won? The, the camel, yeah. of course. <laughs> Those things can move. It's like camel. a horse. Yeah, it's <laughs> nuts. Man. It was so great. <laughs> oh god! Oh. All right, let's see here. Uh, this is from Foley's Kudos Bar. Uh, hey. Is it trashy to clip your keys to your belt loop on your pants? I've been doing this for most of my adult life until recently. Someone said I look like a jack. Toby. Toby doesn't clip. Yes, he does. You clip your keys? Carabiner, dude. No, I got no carabiner. I used to be a clip guy. Wait a a minute, wait a minute. Used to be six months ago? No. Two years, maybe. That old studio you were for sure. For sure. Now that I think about it. Yeah, but that was uh, was a while back. Okay. A clip? Two years ago. I think it was about a year and a half. 
Yeah, but it's been a long time since I had, since I had keys clipped to the clipped to the jeans. Now, okay. Now why did you just have so many keys you couldn't put them in your pocket? Well, what's the thing? I'm incredibly irresponsible, Che. Oh, that how are you losing? Like they go in your pocket and they only come out when now, you unlock the door. That's a look thing. That, that's a look. Yeah. Because a lot of guys who look like you do that. A lot of barbacks yeah. have that fuck. They're running yeah. around with a case of fucking. A lot of guys on bike. I have my bike locks on there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes a little more sense. That it was like a lot of guys with ice buckets coming downstairs, jamming me up <laughs> <laughs> as I'm trying to get upstairs. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry. 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 <laughs> oh, you gotta get in the freezer. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's. You want people to know you're kind of got stuff going on. Sure, yeah. it's a look. It's a look. It's practical. I'll give you that. It's practical, but it's or a look. you own property. You're like yeah. a janitor. That's a janitor. Move. Yeah, you got so many doors to open. But I've I have like three. I think I have two keys. I uh, know I have three. I have one for the front door, one for my place, and then the mail key. That those are all my keys. Yeah, so you're rolling out just a day three keys. Three keys. That's Whoa. it. I'm three keys too. Yeah, I don't got what else. You I don't have keys key? to here. I have one for the door. But not downstairs because there's too many keys. I don't like having a lot of keys. There you go. You're I just probably not. got about eight. Eight? Eight keys. Holy right shit. Keep them in, no keychain, no nothing. Keep just them. no, no not key loose chain. keys in your fucking no, pocket. I mean, just the hook. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about you just got eight keys. Yeah, that around. would be crazy. <laughs> At a random All right, well, well, I'm constantly fumbling. <laughs> you work yeah. in the Matrix? <laughs> yeah. No, I have apartment Pick keys. Key. Apartment keys, keys to here, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's yeah, not that crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of keys to here. Tony keeps stuff on fucking locked up. Gang, you want to look good for 2024, don't you? Look tight. Tighten it up. I tell you how you do it. Uh-huh. It's not going to the grocery store, taking a bunch of time, making a bunch of stuff, meal prep and all that stuff. We're talking Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. It's ready in two minutes. They're nutritious. They're delicious. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> all you got to do is heat them up. For two minutes, that's it. I tried to make a sweet potato in the oven yesterday. It's still in there. This is two minutes. You're cooking. It's seriously that easy. Uh, God, all jokes aside, we've been huge fans of Factor for a very long time. Before they were even a sponsor of the podcast, shout out to Factor. It's a great product. They have over 35 meals to choose from each week. They're vegan, too good. Vegan, vegetarian, keto sure. options, and more. Seriously, uh, it beats eating a three-day-old meal prep casserole, which i been Yeah, doing. get out of here Dang. with that. Fresh, never frozen, baby. Factor even has awesome snacks you can take with you and breakfast, smoothies, juices to keep you going all day long. So here's the Turk. Head over to Factor Meals dot com slash garbage 50 and use code garbage 50 to get 50 percent off five Boom. zero that's garbage five zero at factor com slash garbage five zero to get 50 percent off do it do it the carabiner got pretty popular oh yeah for a while that's when people started really using those oh i for sure started off it was a fashion move yeah without question and becomes yeah. practical on your tight black jeans you clip it on the back hey, it's yeah it's always it. it's always to the back right it's never in the front yeah it's always on that back half so See, is it like nine o'clock? I can't. I anytime I try to make a move towards fashion, like even if I put on a collared shirt, I'm like, you fucking idiot. And I just I, I can't. Love how you think that's a move towards fashion. <laughs> <laughs> this guy wants me wearing matching socks. What are you nuts? <laughs> Who am I? Oh, I'm I, not wearing sweaters. Yeah. yeah oh my Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> I would use the uh, and I loved them when they first came out. When people worked in offices and it's on a zip tie. Oh, I had my when I worked back. when Woo! I was working at the law firm. I had that with like my your name badge on it, your buzzer to it's get like it. You have your door. master's degree to get very one of those. cool, and you also yeah. feel like you could kill someone with that. Sure, like, yeah. Yeah. around their neck. You feel like one of those spots. They had them in like uh, Mission Impossible or whatever. It's like the they're like titanium rope. Yeah, yeah. you could like hang from them and whatever. Yeah, yeah. it's cool as shit. Yeah, 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 the the lighter leash on those things is pretty tough. My uh, buddy, shout out to Ryan. Leash. Yeah, they have those the clips, and then it's like a. Zzz, Oh, your with your lighter? lighter? My buddy Ryan, shout out to Deli, he's a listener, use that in our 20s. Dude, Man. I... See, what, I always got it on me. Zip. Oh. You'd, be, <laughs> uh. <laughs> you'd be outside of a bar and you'd be like... Zip. The thing with that is <laughs> like, it go. it's like someone's like, oh, you took my light. I thought about putting a sticker on a lighter, so I'm like, no one will take it. But then I'm also living as a guy that's like, I can't lose a lighter. Yeah, like, anybody, it'll anybody, that, anybody that gives a shit that much. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a bad. He's bad with Bad them. lighter. He steals. Yeah. He steals them, and then like months later, I'm like, that's mine. Like, yeah. <laughs> he steals them, then doesn't Keeps use them, them. <laughs> loses them, finds them again. You just brought one from Circle K you gave to me yesterday. Yeah. I'm like, uh, dude, I remember buying this. Yeah, yeah, but if you care that much, it's like, who gives a I shit? I don't care uh, about the lighter at all. The thing that jams me up is, especially when we're on the road together, we share lighters a lot. Of yeah, the, yeah, You know, of it's like, who has a lighter? Yeah. Right? And when, uh, so you're fucking 
if you're on stage, sometimes you go up on stage with it in your pocket. I, I oh, usually make a, a con- green room. I make a conscious de- I've conscious well, decision. Yeah. yeah, usually to make sure because I know you're going to be coming off looking for a come heater. off stage yeah. looking for a heater before we go back on, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's like the only lighter in the building is. Is he, yeah, it's, is it's been in taken. his pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you do feel like a loser when you have to ask people you don't know if they have a lighter. They don't have a lighter, and they give you, I'll go see if I can find one. Or oh, yeah, like when you're that. at a show, they're like, uh, they're like, oh, we'll do anything. We'll make it. We want to make you comfortable. Uh, yeah. like, Danny smokes. I'll go yeah. ask him. He's just yeah. stuck in the freezer. Yeah. We don't know where Danny and is. And Danny's <laughs> usually a real, doesn't like giving out his lighter because yeah. everybody steals it at work from Danny. Yeah. God damn. I'm not a smoker, so I don't really have that problem too much. Every now and again, you got the weed going around. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. A lot of free weed in comedy. Called doobage. Yes. Yeah. A lot of. We were somewhere where they, they gave us an amount of drugs that was like. I'm like, we have to fly in eight <laughs> hours. Toronto, like, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, dude, we, uh, Shout out to we Toronto. Had to cross an international <laughs> border. Bro. When I did. That in a suitcase full of snacks. When I did the show in Denver, they gave me so much mushrooms. A dude gave me like one. Do you know what penis envy mushrooms are? Sure. I've heard. They're, yeah. They're like it was like one gigantic mushroom, and it was like blue and shit. And I was I just left it all in the green room. I was like, you guys can have it. Yeah. I can't get on a plane with this. And I'm also like, when do you think I'm eating this? I'm sure. here for three days every day. We're doing a well, show. I work every day. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like, what well, you think I'm gonna eat this like experimental <laughs> fucking sure. blue mushroom? A and football. Go, size mushroom yeah and just get fucked yeah. like no i never take the drugs the the comedy club staff does make out with oh, uh, yeah, sure. a lot of the the drugs that get given to uh one hundred the comic one hundred well it's like we soft stuff we, yeah we, yeah shrooms. heroin yeah. You know, now, whatever you get i did get 2cb at a show once which is this like uh i might have told you, uh, you might have told us yeah that, 2cb it's like that crazy designer drug yeah, right yeah it's like pink and, and it's like almost fluorescent pink i got that in miami they really like it down there i didn't uh, even I try i remember it. you telling me about it's it. a yeah, research yeah. chemical they call it is that what it is yeah all right well apparently it's like the sound of that yeah. A, res- <laughs> a research chemical. I'm not a drug addict. I'm a scientist. <laughs> yeah, dude. My hypotenuse says I'm fucked up, dude. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. <laughs> Hypo- hypothesis. No, hypo- hypotenuse is the long end of a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Kippy. How the fuck do you pull that? Pythagorean's theorem. Oh, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> My hypotenuse. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. All right. I do miss a I do miss a lanyard which we've talked about before. Spinning a lanyard around your finger uh, with the with keys, a couple on of it. keys on it. All right, it was all right. Real jerk off vibe. But yeah, it was all right. Pretty good. It's like chewing yeah. gum. Lamb. What was that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Spinning yeah. it. It's got uh, some character. God, there's nothing better than a dumb guy trying to sound smart, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hypotenuse is good. Hypotenuse, I would have yeah. never remembered hypotenuse yes, ever <laughs> until you said it, and it like it's like a bad Disney character. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody run, here comes hypotenuse. <laughs> He's on research chemicals. <laughs> the, only, the only reason I re- remember that word is because I had a math teacher who was so clearly a stoner. And he's like, you can remember hypotenuse by I'm high and I have pot in use. <laughs> and that was it. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, dude. You that guy ruled. <laughs> <laughs> Hit you with a wink. Yeah. Oh, uh, yo. <laughs> if you guys need anything, meet me behind the cubicle. <laughs> I hated all that shit. Math fucking sucked. Yeah, it does suck, dude. Geometry. And- Algebra, I mean, algebra, like what the fuck is this guy talking about? And you don't use it. You, they That's teach the you all this shit. I, it's like, I, I get that you should. It does show that you can learn and you can understand bigger concepts and stuff like that. I get that, but it's like. But then they changed it like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. the new math. I what don't, the fuck is that? I nah. see videos of it and I'm like, I have no idea. The how dumbest shit I ever heard. Nah, they're just like, it's like, man, kids learn the basic shit. Like fucking taxes, how to make money, and like fucking. Balance a checkbook. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Something. Those are, those are what you Gary need. Gary V. High School. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it really should be, dude. I would have rather gone to that. What were the three things? Uh, making money. Uh, making money, how to pay your taxes, maybe like get bitches. Those <laughs> are your things. Yeah. That's an elective, obviously. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to take that one. But it might become it might become useful. You never we know. had to take an accounting class, and I was fucking lost. Yeah, fuck that. The debits dude. and credits and all this shit. No, yeah. you guys probably have a guy, like a guy who just handles your money and shit, who like, fuck no. You're looking at him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And I failed accounting. <laughs> Mr. Hypotenuse over here. <laughs> He's a little obtuse, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> Nothing on that. Talk no. about where we like to keep everything in-house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
dude. Yeah. yeah, it was like we're paying some of the taxes, some of not. A lot of write-offs yeah. here. A lot, lot of write-offs. All for business expenses. <laughs> yeah, no, they, I needed that water slide at my house. <laughs> they <laughs> kill us, man. The taxes are fucking yeah. brutal. Oh man, yeah. Woo! I paid my first round of real taxes last year, and I was like, it Jesus sucks. Christ, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Great. I, I want to go. Like, can I go back to a paycheck? Like yeah. when, <laughs> when I used, to, I remember I used to get a fifteen hundred dollars back every year. Yeah, it stings at right. first, but then you're like, all right, I don't got to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, you know true, true, true. It's wild. Yeah. Huh. Fucking brutal. Um, all right, let's see. This one's from Gravy Boat Captain. Shout out to you. Uh, uh, you know your hibachi stats? I never met a shrimp I couldn't catch. Are you, a, are you a hibachi guy? Never been to hibachi. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I think hibachi is, uh, I don't, I think we have maybe like one in Toronto or something really? like that. It's not big in Canada, so I've never, ever been to a hibachi. Hmm. But I would like to take on a hibachi to go for the whole experience. I want to see the stuff shoot out of the, the, the whatever the. It's a fun time. I couldn't do it with other people. I, that, it always turned me off. Yeah? Yeah, the communal yeah. table's tough. Because yeah. you're just there with like somebody celebrating a birthday, someone oh, on a wedding. Oh, that's it's a, like a ten, Unless you go with a crew. Yeah, yeah, and buy the whole table. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eight of us are going or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be, that's one of those jobs where I think like when I waited tables and I would go in half speed so many times, yeah. hung over, fucked up, whatever. Having to do that shit and put on a show when you're cooking dinner. It's like, fuck off, dude. dude. Make and also, the volcano. You and can all see them going through the motions. I, yeah. I'd be phoning in after the first yeah, week. they do it. And chefs are very much like we're in the kitchen, we're doing our own thing. And she, like the environment in the kitchen usually is toxic as fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah. The sure. rude, nasty, drug use, sexual harassment out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. Like they're going nuts in there. And then you got to be a human being in front of people. Now yeah. that I would do. They should, that, <laughs> should yeah. do that in the Let's kitchen. Let's bring that out yeah. front. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Someone working at double they're all amped up on meth or something like that yeah. they're screaming at each other back there Saying, they're hey. losing tickets the waitress is bringing things back that they fucked up on he's screaming at her da, 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 da. that's what that's you want to see that's a show there we go yeah, yeah, you do yeah. that and then you go to the kangaroo fights or whatever it is <laughs> the kangaroo <laughs> fights <laughs> <laughs> holy shit uh, three uh, accountants versus a mongoose yeah, I like that I never opted to catch the I don't I didn't like being I feel like you're just they're you're making fat, you the butt of the joke. Yeah, and also, you're, I'm a, you're fat a fat guy. kid. No, yeah. it's like I'm not. I'm not fucking dancing for scrimps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> fucking put it on a plate. Yeah. And give me a fork because I don't yeah. have these chops. Spin there. the egg. Will yeah. you fucking hurry up? I eat like a grown man. Yeah. I'm a grown man. <laughs> well, yeah. Never. I've mentioned that before. I went to uh, my wife picked a steakhouse. It ended up being Salt Bay. Yeah. That dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they come out and he tried. F I mean, he was trying to fuck my wife for <laughs> sure, <laughs> dude. He was dangling meat like on her. I was like, yo, not hey. that I will beat the shit out of you right now. There's been a few videos of dudes, Salt Bay comes to do the thing, it's, and the guy's it's like, so oh, yeah, nah, 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 nah. It's so erotic. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, it's yeah. so crazy. And he started doing it to me. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm I, not I, doing I, this. I'm no. not fucking. I've told, you, I've told you guys this before, but there's, a, there's some dessert place somewhere. I can't remember if it's in France or somewhere like that. I think it's in Europe. Um, and it's like a frozen banana place. And they yeah. take the banana, and they dip it in chocolate, and they put all this stuff. But the guy, he's like this good-looking Latin dude. Yeah. And he like, like you know, he'll like hold it and like put it in the girl's mouth. Yeah. And they're basically like blowing the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's so funny. He gets up on the thing and he's like yeah. humping at him and stuff yeah. like that. And dude, they're like, yeah, like, give me the banana. More awesome. banana. It's awesome. <laughs> Got him in. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, I'll sit I'll get front row seats for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see this guy hump <laughs> produce into chicks' faces. Love it. Oh. That was a lot of comedy clubs used to do. You remember that? What? The, the blowjob Oh, shop. yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Where are you working? That was my closer. <laughs> Where are you working and who books that? I gotta get, get, get over there. <laughs> yeah. The uh, old chick who works at the comedy club who like smokes cigarettes inside. She's like, who wants a banana? Who wants a banana? <laughs> I've done probably over a hundred blowjob shots because oh. it was big at the Laugh House. So you had to, and before the headliner came up, right? Before the headliner, they would the... find out whose birthday it was and then. After the feature, you do the announcements. This one's coming up. That one's coming up. And I heard we got a birthday in the crowd. Hey, it's fuck always yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Third time this month, huh? Man? Crazy. Dude. And it's a, like a shot of Kahlua and Bailey's. Too, and then they right? put whipped cream on it. And they have to put their hands behind their back and, and get and it off the stool. Yeah. 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 But that rules. It's a tasty shot, man. It's a good way to get drunk. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. 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 I love a Bailey's. A Bailey's oh. is all right. Bailey's White Russian? Woo! I'm about. 
Russian, dude. That I don't little, know if I've ever really had a white Russian. A Lebowski? Oh, yeah. The, they they go, man. It's like you can't drink too many of them because you'll fucking shit your brains out. Sure. But, but they're, they're, they run. They yeah. Run. We yeah. had to ban Baileys in my house because my mom would crack the bottle and would not stop till it was gone. Sure, it's good. <laughs> oh, your mom's a good time, man. Yeah. yeah. Anyone want a special coffee? Special coffee? A special coffee. <laughs> yeah. Mama's juice juice. Yeah, you know, shout out to her. I like it. That's great. Uh, we were I mean, in college. I remember there was this this a uh, 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 frat would do five dollars for the like keg, whatever you know, for cups. And then they had a little bar, and they would sell shots. And I I I would need like a hundred beers because it was like you know super shitty light beer. I'm like. I'm not just standing in a corner fucking slugging beer, so they would have shots. Feeling real awkward. And we would do shots. And uh, yeah, just out, out of pure social anxiety as well. Sure. Of, like a fat guy at a you party. You can only keep your hands in your pockets for so long. <laughs> I know, yeah. Getting you can all sweaty. You, you, can only go, you can only look for the bathroom, and I'm going to go smoke a cig yeah. so many times <laughs> yeah. before you're not even at the party. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was out front. I'm, out, I'm outside. I'm going to take a smoking. lap around the house. Yeah. See if anybody's out. But they had a bar, and they would only sell... Uh, Sex on the beach and fuzzy navel shots. Yeah. So, like, ordering those as, like, a fucking 20, you know, 19, 20, not 20, an 18-year-old kid being like, can I get three fuzzy navels, please? And you're just fucking crushing just them by yourself. Just smashing them back? Oh, worst hangover of your uh, fucking life, It was, life, like, orange dude. juice and something else. Yeah, you're going to puke the rainbow peach afterwards. Peach schnapps. Peach yeah, schnapps. Peach oh, schnapps. Oh. I it. Dude, yeah, do you don't want to get drunk on that? That's not your booze's choice. I hated the shooter craze of the mid 2000s. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that that up in Canada? Thing. Yeah, like yeah. shooter Tubes? girls going around, the little vials. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they put, you put it in your mouth and just fucking yeah. shoot your head back. They put it between their tits or something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope they're all CEOs because they were salesmen. Because <laughs> if you didn't buy, they made you feel like a fucking loser. Oh, dude. I, uh, 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 I knew this girl who worked as like a bottle girl, and she said the easiest sell of all time was to like dudes who have some girls. Like they're in, they, they buy the table. Because they're, they're trying to impress yeah. them. So you go in, they buy a bottle or whatever, and then you come back after the bottle's done, you go like, oh, you guys want another bottle? And they're always like, no, no, no. And you go, ladies? And they're like, yeah. Sold. Sold. Damn. Every fucking time sold. Damn, Respect dude. the hustle. Yeah, you could dude. be a bottle girl in the only 2000s. You had to clean. They were all making oh, Yeah, clean. dude. Yeah, you got paid back and said cruel harassment for sure. That, yeah, that was definitely part of the job. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't make it past the first interview. I <laughs> <laughs> was out. He wore his best bra, too. <laughs> I had one buddy fall in love with one of those shooter girls at Keenan's in North Wildwood. Man, he was following her around that bar like a goddamn puppy dog. <laughs> He's like, I think she likes me. They really were like, dude, you, you, you paid for, put, put her through college already yeah, tonight. dude, and you offered her Coke eight times. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn, oh, yeah. You can't, like, uh, servers, bartenders, strippers, bottle girls, nurses, none of them like you. None no, of them like no, you, man. No, no. That was never, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say none of them. Don't take the hope away from me. <laughs> Man, I was uh, I was down at uh, a bar in my hometown recently, and like just there was like the hot ish girl. You know, she's probably like thirty one at this point. She was yeah. probably been there for ten years, and she was always the hot bartender. She's a little older, and just this gaggle of like around the around the corner of the bar, like yeah. seven dudes. Oh, like look at her, huh? Yeah. Hey, I'll do one more. And, like all just loosely hitting on her, and yeah. you're like, man, none of you stand a chance, and you're all tipping her 200 percent, probably. Yeah, paying her mortgage. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude, it's it's wild, man. Like I I, I uh, bartended and worked this bar for a little while, and the girls that worked there were these like hot French Canadian chicks, tattoos, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And the guys that would come in and be like, you want to come home with me? Like dudes in like their 50s that are like old, say, and I'm like, w did you? What did you think was gonna happen here? <laughs> this like hot dude, I'm fucking her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you think you're gonna like you thought you were gonna pull like she could fuck anybody and you think she's pulling out of this place yeah you know what I mean but yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. it happens love happens magic happens <laughs> yeah. sure sometimes two people they, they, they meet each other and the stars line up spoken like a real sucker <laughs> <laughs> I mean dude that's the next Disney movie old dude goes to a bar hot chick there and, and they fall in love man <laughs> just him picking up her kid from school <laughs> <laughs> Your mom at a date. Um, I'm thinking, you know. <laughs> but then also too, like that bartender's boyfriend would come in sometimes. I spent a lot of time at those neighborhood bars. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. that they, guy always sucked. He dude. always stunk. He was all, but then he was also a dirtbag, but just from like another town or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so you're yeah. like, there is a chance. He, this <laughs> yeah. guy is just this guy at another bar. Yeah. There, you know. But damn.
Yeah, nothing worse than the the boyfriend that waiting tables, the boyfriend that hung out. Yeah, just waiting. <sighs> yeah. just waiting. It's like, dude, dude, I'm waiting for any- Sherry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Never something. start chiming in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from Bryce, ten dollar homie here. When you lose a sock, do you just match it with a different sock, or do you hold on to it or throw Ooh, it out? I definitely hold on to it because. Really? Oh yeah, I hold on to it's it. It's a grace I, period. Yeah, and like I, the other socks probably gone, but I buy a lot of the same socks. So I've started doing this too. So always, like another always. one will appear. Oh, yeah. Yes, at some point, I, or I'll lose another the same and, batch, and you have that. And yeah. I got no problem mixing matching. I got no problem with really? that. I'll throw in a long guy and a short guy. I don't give a fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. You heard him. He doesn't care about fashion. <laughs> I have trouble when one's thinner than the other. Really? Yeah, I can't, can't do, do that. Oh, I feel yeah. like I'm wearing two different shoes. I feel like I'm walking uh, sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like can't do that. Watch that rap. Oh, oh it holy kills no. me. Whoa. <laughs> I can't do thin socks anyway because my feet like sweat and they get like weird. I need, I need a little thickness. Sure. Oh, Absorption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but no, I'm no. all I'm all good fella. Ankle socks. Oh, good. I, I got them on fella. right now. Yeah, and if something gets mixed in, it, I, dude, it just, it's not worth it because it just fucking ruins it because you're missing one. You don't know where this one is. It's a fucking nightmare. I got a weird batch of socks right now because I have a bunch of those good fella guys. I like the the ones you're you're picking up over there, but then I got a bunch from Canada as well. Oh, man. So I have these, a bunch of Canadian thick socks, socks, like thick wool <laughs> socks. And sometimes I'm like, yo, I only got one of these woolies and one ankle guy. We're going. Really? Yeah, we'll yeah. go. Yeah, I'm in a rush. That's <laughs> nuts. Winter socks back in the day, they were like almost like that sweater material. They were mm-hmm. like wool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wool socks. Oh, Whoa. so good. Jesus oh, fuck that. Christ. I like like a it's like wearing bees on your feet. <laughs> Fucking brutal. What? They get wet. That shit starts itching. Like, oh, I hate that shit. Bees on your Dude. feet. The most it's common thing. Stinging and scratching at you. Oh, man. <laughs> No, I like a good comfy sock. Put on a thick sock and it goes into a big boot and then you put on your big coat and you go out in the cold and just stretch sure, through. I'll give you that. A couple of shots of fireball to keep you warm. Yeah. All right, now we're talking my language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You lead with that. You really snuck that in there, didn't you? <laughs> I don't care what socks you wear. I didn't know we were doing shots. <laughs> Holy. Uh, yeah, okay, let's see here. We got time for uh, another two more here. This is from Alania. Uh, $5 never had one read. Do you cut the price tag off or do you just rip it off? Is ripping it off considered garbage? Uh, I rip, rip. I'm yeah. a ripper I, or a biter. Oh, sure. get the teeth in there. Well, chomp, chomp. I've I've chipped a tooth on a forty in high school, and it's still it's got like a little bit of an edge to it. Yeah, and if yeah. I get the plastic thing right there, it just slices right through it. Let's talk about this forty though. Were you opening with your teeth? No, I was uh, drinking a forty, and uh, my friend uh, Biggie, rest in peace, bumped into me, and it chipped my tooth. Ah, shit, Very dude. unromantic. You yeah. A fatter guy bumped into me <laughs> in a basement. You have a Swiss Army tooth. That's uh, okay. yeah, <laughs> and then uh, yeah. Two forties. Both teeth have like a little, little smidge on it. I'm a, I'm a big ripper. Uh, they've definitely caught on with that. That most people rip. A, a lot of times they put it on its own thing. Sure, but that's for when it, when they put it on like a cloth loop. That's where they fuck you up. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But I feel like they make those things almost like breakaway now. Yeah. Yes. Where it's just literally a little bit of pressure and they pop. Mm-hmm. The cloth loop. I'll start just pulling at that thing, thinking I'm going to snap gonna it, it, and yeah. it's like never. The neck never. of your shirt. The ones it who immediately. fucking do it like dickheads are the sock people. Yeah. They have 19 of those in there. Yeah. It's like get over, dude. It, and guys. you forget that thing is in there. And I feel like it's in every one of them. You're yeah. like, I only broke this in one place. How's it in every sock? <laughs> yeah, yes. dude. Finding it for fucking put months. Put in the bag, will you? Dude, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Just throw all my shit in a, in like one tub, and I'll leave here like a like a human. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. I'm all, I'm I'm living off of uh, Goodfellow socks right now at the moment. Same thing. You fucking brand new pack, and they're you it's, go. It's, do you guys go for the Goodfellow shirts too? I, I don't do, fit I don't, them. I do the undies. I don't like the way they wash. I do the undies and the socks. I don't like the way the, the tees wash. They, so they have, they have like the regular black ones are a certain type of f- material where if you wash them, they're wrinkly forever. Yes, but that's the, what I'm... But if there's other ones like gray and shit that have a different kind of... Oh, all the colored of, ones. Yeah. The, I, have, I have 20 of those. The colored ones. Yeah. Oh, I love those. They're they great. never wrinkle. Bro, I'm all about Goodfella shirts. Yes. Good brand, man. Yeah, it really is, is. They have like the pocket tee or whatever. Yes, yeah, they, that's have, like they have a bunch. Target house brand, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah Somebody yeah. said they used to be Mossy Mo. Mossimo, what's Mossimo? Mossimo used to be like a skater brand yeah. way back in the day. I and could then... be wrong on that. T Bone, can you get eyes on that good fellow Mossimo? I will. It sounds like an anime studio. <laughs> you don't remember Mossimo? Yeah, I'm surprised. Mossimo was huge in the '90s. Huge. Oh. If you had a that, it was like a very Stussy type thing. Wait, like, how do you how do you spell it? 
Uh, Mossimo. There was like Vulcan and a couple other ones that were. It was like, like one of the. Uh, it was M O. I got it. Mossy. M O S S. Oh, I was. I E O. I M O. I M O. Um, Mossimo. Yeah, I mean, well, Mossimo still seems to be banging in Australia. Mm. There you go. All right, they found their market. There I like go. it. I like it. I don't think yeah. it is because nothing comes up with Massimo no. Goodfellas. No. no, they're str- they're riding skateboards out there still. They're all over the streets. Goodfellas is the shit. Yeah, dude. It's just like you get. I buy a pack of shirts. I'll get fucking ten shirts at once or whatever, mm-hmm. and then be like, "There, I'm good." I'll yeah, just it's like twenty shirt. bucks too. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. And the socks last, man. They really do, yeah. and they get better with age. The underwear is yeah. great. Underwear is great. Mm-hmm. They they just switched up the fat guy underwear where it used to be more Euro cut. And now they go they go up real high. Yeah. So and I, they got the sandwich pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Natural bacon scent too. Yeah, you put it in there, it stays warm. It stays warm for a long time. <laughs> Keep my egg bites in there. <laughs> His testicles are huge. <laughs> All right, we gotta wrap it up, gang. Gang, we love you to uh-huh. death. Che Durena gonna be at the Wilbur Theater in Boston, January twelfth. Do yourself a favor, a few tickets left, scoop them up. He's one of the absolute best. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna be over there in Vancouver. Vancouver, British Columbia at the Vogue Theater, February 24th. Ooh. My birthday. Go see the hometown kid. Chay Durain, everybody. Yeah, thank Love you. Love having you, pal. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anything Always else you want to time? Good hang. Anything else you want to plug? Socials? Anything else? Website? Uh, and you can find it, all my socials. Chay Durain, S C H E D U R E N A. Check out the YouTube. We're mm-hmm. posting all the stand up stuff over there. And then for all tour dates, go to chaydurain.com. We'll be probably coming to your city very soon. You're killing it, buddy. We're so happy yeah, for man, you. Congrats. You're the best. Thank you. Great hang. Great comedian. We love you. Right on. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, we're taking a bit of a break off the road. We're planning the uh, spring and summer tour oh, right yeah. now. We have a lot of the dates. Uh, we'll be posted soon, finalizing some stuff. The only thing that's on sale right now is May, May 9th at the Toronto Town Blank. Hall Theater Town in New Hall York City. Theater. It's the biggest show we've ever done. Grab the squad and come out and see us in a nice, nice, classy style. Yes. This and place also, is nice. The card game available at rugarbage.com. Do it. Gang, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace.